Hello, and welcome to another anxiety-riddled episode of the Weekly Deathmatch. Um, this one's a bit shorter just because, well, I'm mostly... I mean, obviously I'm doing it because it's a Weekly Deathmatch and I do it every week, but also I'm doing it to test my PC because I just dusted it, like... <laughs> It's gonna sound bad because I've had it for over two years, but I've never really like dusted the inside of my PC or anything like that. And I don't know a lot about hardware. All I know is that stuff is incredibly fragile. Uh, well, not incredibly fragile. I just had a friend tell me that it's not incredibly fragile, but that if you break it, you know, it costs six hundred pounds. Like, it can cost a lot of money. Basically, my PC cost me six hundred pounds. I'm sure I could just find a part that needed replacing that wouldn't be six hundred pounds. But you know what I mean. Um, so whenever I have to open up my PC for any reason, I get a little bit nervous. <laughs> and um, there's been a problem with my PC lately where when I turn it on, it makes this weird grinding noise at the back and I kind of have to keep patting the back of my PC to make it stop. Uh, and it usually takes about 30 seconds of patting just to make it stop. I know it sounds dumb, but that's how it is. Um, and I think it wasn't actually dust. I think it's because there was a wire near the fan. It wasn't on the fan, but I imagine that being near the fan means that it would get clipped, and that's probably the noise that was being made. But I moved it, and I turned it on again, and it seems to have gone. Um, it doesn't do it all the time, though, so I'm going to have to wait and see. Hopefully that's nothing bigger than that. But because I thought the original issue was dust, I bought a can of compressed air and went to town on it, and... It also doesn't help that I've never used a can of compressed air, so I was like, uh, am I doing this too hard? Like, what happens if I do it for too long and, like, water comes out or something? So, yeah, you know, I was worried about that. But it all turned out okay in the end. The most stressful part of it all was actually putting the case back together because my case is an absolute anus to put back together. Like, the side bits that come off, they don't go back on easily, and it sucks. And if I'm perfectly honest, it is on, but there is like a tiny gap of air that wasn't there before, and uh, that's the case with the other side of my case as well from when we inserted my hard drive, and I'm like, oh, it's not ideal, but it works. And yeah, just, just a bundle of nerves about all that. So I've turned it on. It didn't make the noise. It sounds a bit quieter, as you would expect after a PC being dusted, but you know, that's nice all the same. But because it's making a different noise, I'm in paranoia mode. I'm like, ah, oh, but what if what if I have, you know, damaged something? And like, when I when the CPU properly kicks in, it's gonna then like cut off and like die and fuck up or something. And I thought, well, what is the most CPU intensive um, thing I can do? Probably rendering a video. So I've decided to sit down, record this weekly death match, render it, and if it makes it through all of that, I think I will finally be like, okay, we're good. I can continue on with my life without nervousness. It's dumb. I know it's dumb. But it's just the way it is. Um, I'm a software guy, not a hardware guy. <laughs> but yeah, my aim is all over the place in this video because when I get kind of like anxious like that, you know, I get a little bit shaky. I think it's a normal thing for most people to do. But yes. I'm glad it's over with. I hope it's over with. I'm looking at you, computer, right now. I'm like, hey, buddy. Hope. Hope our little debacle is over now. Hope you feel better now that I've emptied you of dust bunnies. But yeah, other than that, this week I've been getting back into Minecraft. Um, <laughs> because why the fuck not? So obviously I've been doing my hardcore Minecraft series over the last couple of weeks. And it occurred to me that the Windows 10 edition exists. I was like, oh shit, I should have been doing this in the Windows 10 edition all along. Because that actually runs much better. Um, like, I can have a render distance of 32 chunks, and my PC doesn't bat an eyelid, but if I have it more than, like, 16, I get the occasional frame drop in Java Edition. So, yeah, Java sucks. But the problem is, in Windows 10 Edition, there isn't actually a hardcore mode. You can't toggle hardcore mode on, and off, on or off. So when I do move over to Windows 10, I'm just going to have to do it in survival and have, like, a little thing at the start of the series. Um, so, hey, you know, you'll see a clip of me deleting my world when I die, and I promise I'm not going to edit out any deaths. <laughs> that kind of thing, because Windows 10 Edition is where it's at. I know it has microtransactions and stuff, but you can ignore those. Like, I know that's like, I don't know, like a horrible thing to hear whenever anyone's talking about microtransactions. Oh, you can ignore those. But I mean, like, it's just downloadable skins and map packs. And it's like, well, those are just paid skins and map packs, and I've already got my skin that I like, and I'm, I'm not really a, a custom map kind of a guy, so I don't really care. Um, also, it shares your purchases across all Bedrock editions, so if I do want to buy like a Skyrim texture pack one day, uh, 
if I just want to burn a pile of money and do that, then I can at least have it on my Switch and my PC. So that would be cool. Even though you could probably download it for free on Java Edition. But you know, like I said, Java Edition sucks. But I basically just started a survival world just to kind of test out, um, like, hey, how, how well does it run? And I kind of accidentally got super into that survival world and I think it's going to be like my forever world which is dumb to make 10 years into the game's history when I've been around for most of it um, but it is it's cool I, I've always wanted a Minecraft world which I just stick to and like even when I stop playing Minecraft like six months later I come back to it and I play it again and I'm playing on that world and it's nice because it's got history and like I just expand over the world and if I ever want a new start I can just like walk away for a thousand blocks and then like dump my inventory or something but anyway Minecraft's cool my PC seems to be okay, fingers crossed. Also, I nearly won that match. Overwatch is a thing. You just saw it.